welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. And one of the things that I want to do on my channel is uh, with this new year is I want to take posts that I had from my blog and kind of bring them to you guys on my channel because there are some great ideas that I posted on my blog a while back that I think that you guys are going to find helpful even to this day. So again, like I said before, I had a blog before I even started YouTube. So I'm going to be taking the pictures and kind of making videos out of the pictures to share them with you guys. Now the one that I'm going to share with you guys today is how to make your own Baby Alive food and juice. Now this blog post got pinned so many times and it continues to keep getting pinned so many times. Um, even today, like I got an alert this morning that it got... 16 um, I think it was 16 likes and pins this morning so it continues to this day people still want to find how to make your own baby alive food and juice and it tends to be pinned a lot after the holidays so I guess it's because of course you know the toys the kids get at Christmas time and baby alive is one of those toys that I had when I was younger and they continue to make different versions of it so I mean it's still it's still a, a popular toy today so this recipe, I did not come up with it myself. I actually found it on a blog a long time ago, and I'm going to put the link to that original post in my description box, description box below because I want to give credit where credit's due, and I don't ever like to take any credit for something that I didn't come up with. But I still want to share with you guys because it was very helpful for me, and it saved me so much money back in the day when both my daughters had a baby alive, and I was able to make their food in juice for them at such a cheap price and so they were able to play constantly with their baby alive and not have to worry about not playing with them because it cost so much money and I wasn't able to purchase it at the store. So without further ado I'm going to jump into the video but before I do to share with you guys the recipe I do want to let you know that because I'm taking the pictures from my blog post and sharing with you guys the quality of the pictures that I'm sharing with you guys are not the best quality and it's not the quality that I have with the camera that I have today because they are the pictures that I have on my blog and when I had my blog a long time ago all my pictures were done with my camera phone and if you guys remember our camera phones back in the day the camera phone quality is not as great as it is today so like, I get, like I'm trying to tell you guys the picture quality is not the best but you'll still get the gist of what I'm trying to explain to you guys and how to make the recipe for the food and the drinks. It's really, really simple, but I just wanted to let you know that the picture quality that you're gonna see as I'm talking through the recipe is not the ones that you've been seeing on my channel. But let's just jump right into the video so I can share with you guys this simple recipe on how you can make Baby Alive food and juice for your kiddos on a budget. So the only thing that you'll need to make the food is baking soda and food coloring. And for the juice, all you're gonna need is water and food coloring. You need containers to put them in, so I am reusing my old Frappuccino bottles for the juice and some old vitamin containers for the food. To make the food, you start off by pouring the baking soda into the container that you plan to house the food in. You wanna pour the baking soda into this container first so that you know how much you need to color for the food that you are gonna prepare. Once you have measured out the amount that you need, you're going to pour that amount into a Ziploc bag. In the Ziploc bag is where you're going to color your baking soda to look like the Baby Alive food. So you'll add a few drops of food coloring to this Ziploc bag, close the Ziploc bag, and then you're going to massage the bag until all the colors mix together to get your desired color of choice. I used orange food coloring to make the look of peaches baby food and then I used green food coloring to make the look of the peas baby food. For the baby alive juice this is really simple. All you do is you pour water into the desired container that you're using and add food coloring to make any color juice that you want to use. I used yellow food coloring to create apple juice and then I mixed yellow and red food coloring to create an orange color to make apple juice. I created labels on my computer for the jars and the bottles to not only let my daughters know which juice is which or which food is which, but also the label that's on the baby food jars actually has instructions on how to actually create the baby alive food. The food that's in the jars right now is just the powder form, but you do need to mix the powder with water in order to actually make the baby alive food. And I will have these printables as a free printable for you guys on my blog. 
Now the instructions on the label of the Baby Alive food says that to make the Baby Alive food, you have to use three scoops of the powder food to two scoops of water. Now a scoop can be any measuring spoon that you wanna use. I had an extra heart-shaped teaspoon measuring spoon in my kitchen, so I gave this to my daughter so that she can use it to make her Baby Alive food. So basically you can use any spoon that you want to create the Baby Alive food. You just need to make sure that whatever spoon you use, you use three scoops of the powder to two scoops of water. So that is the recipe on how you can make your own Baby Alive food and juice for your kiddos so they can continue to play with their Baby Alive on a budget for you and so it's happy you know they're happy because they get to play with their baby alive multiple times and you're happy because it's not you know it's not breaking the bank for you um to be able to provide the food and the drinks for your kids to be able to continue playing with the toy the new toy that they got for christmas or the toy that the existing toy that they had now i do want to give you guys some tips on making the recipe so even though in the video, I made my own printable, and I am going to have the printable for you guys. It's going to be a free printable. I'm going to put a link down below to where you can um, link back to my blog, and I will have a PDF file on the labels that I made for the food and the juice that actually have the instructions for you guys. It's a free printable. Go there. If you're going to make it, you know, use the same containers or even any other containers, you can go. You have a free printable for you guys. But even though I'm providing the instructions on how to make the food on the printable, I still want to give you guys some tips about it. When you're making the food, I want you to make sure that it's not a thick consistency and make sure that it's kind of like a creamy, watery maybe consistency because you don't want to clog your baby alive. I never had no issues with my kids clogging their baby alive, but at the same time, I kind of want to give you guys caution that it could happen if you make the food too thick. I also want you to encourage your kids to as they're feeding their baby alive um, like a spoonful or two to kind of balance it with some juice as well you know their homemade juice so that way again it just flows through the the doll and we don't clog up the doll and you know have any issues if you do find that there is issues where there is some clogging just basically put more water um, through the mouth of the baby alive and that can actually help it out and um, help out any clogs and you know unclog it so again like I said I didn't have any issues but I do want to give you that warning to make sure that you're not making a thick consistency and even though your kids might want to do it themselves and they probably could do it themselves I would still caution and look at their recipe before they start feeding their dolls because the last thing you want to do is to clog their dolls and then they can't play anymore and those dolls are not cheap either another tip I want to give you guys that has to do with saving money with the baby alive is the diapers you don't have to buy the baby alive diapers that come with it, you know the extra ones because you know those are expensive as well all I, all I did was I went in the baby section and I found the cheapest brand of diapers and the premiums the, the premium the preemie size and the newborn size and purchased them for my daughters my oldest daughter she had the toddler baby alive so the newborn diapers fit um, perfectly on the toddler size baby alive and if you actually have a baby alive, the actual baby baby, the preemie size fits perfectly on them. And you can get a whole big pack, a cheap brand, a whole big pack for way less than what you're going to pay for the baby alive actual diapers. So that is another tip for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys found it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any budget friendly tips for baby alive dolls on how you save money for it that you can share with my subscribers. We don't have our baby alive dolls anymore. My kids are too old for that. They don't play with that anymore. Um, but even though I won't, I won't find any use for it because my kids are grown, um, my other subscribers or anybody else is watching these videos and reading the comments, they would find it helpful as well. So please let me know any budget friendly or any tips in general that you have for the baby alive toys. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.